Huh? Kind of feel like we're in Puerto Rico. We have roads just like Puerto Rico. Feel just like like home. You have arrived. Hello and welcome to the channel. If you're new, my name is Chris and I'm glad you came along for the adventure today. Today we are spending some time in and around the Reading, Pennsylvania area. Uh, you know, we are actually right now at a spot, uh, it's, it's called the Witch's Hat. Uh, it's a really cool area. We're getting ready to hike up this pretty big hill. Uh, you know, there are a, a few different paths that you can take to get up to the top of it. Um, but we're going to head up there now. I think you're going to enjoy it once we get up there. And afterwards, we're going to head to kind of like a hibachi, uh, like a Benihana hibachi type, type grill and go get something to eat. And then we're going to head on over to Santander Arena where we're going to catch a show from Juan Luis Guerra. So if any of that sounds interesting, which I hope it does, we hope you stick along for the adventure today because I think it's going to be a pretty fun one. Taking a sit -see. to the top of a mountain here outside of Reading. This place right behind me is called the Witch's Hat. Uh, you know, this, this actual area that we're in right now used to be a whole bunch of hotels and like a real big vacation spot back in like the, I wanna say, I think it was like the late 1800s. Um, you know, and, and this was a really popping area. After some time though, uh, you know, once the automobile was introduced and, and people were able to kind of move around and, and do things in other areas, this area, really just kind of went to the wayside, um, you know, but there was one hiker who decided that, you know, his love for this mountaintop just never died. So he actually kept hiking up here and he built this kind of like gazebo out of stone that you see behind me, which is now commonly referred to as the witch's hat. So we are going to take a walk around here and keep hiking for today and uh, let us know down in the comments what you think of this place. It's pretty cool. absolutely awesome um, you know I wish it wasn't quite as hazy and overcast as it is today because I'm sure you can see a lot further in the camera than what you can here if you're familiar with the Reading area right over in that area is the uh, the pagoda it's kind of hard to see on here and my zoom is not the best all right well I think that's gonna wrap it up for us here at this location we're gonna head on over and get a bite to eat at like a Benihana hibachi type style restaurant and uh, we'll see you there
All right, well, we've been wanting to try out Benihana for quite some time now, but unfortunately, we don't have one that's very close to us. So we're going to check out another one, uh, you know, that is in the Reading area. It's called Masa Hibachi Sushi and Bar. Uh, you know, I think it's pretty cool. It looks like kind of the same thing as Benihana where they cook the food right in front of you. Uh, you know, and they have like the little onion volcanoes and stuff. So we're going to go in here and get some supper. Well, that's going to wrap it up for us here at Masa Hibachi Sushi and Bar. That was pretty cool. I really enjoyed it. Uh, I thought it was a great experience. Probably could have been with some better company than the Ken's and Karen's that we were with at our table. But other than that, it was freaking awesome and one heck of a show. I hope you guys enjoyed it. All right. Well, we can successfully 
check going to a hibachi off of our list. I believe the last thing we have to check off our list is we are heading to Santander Arena where we are going to see Juan Luis Guerra perform. Pretty excited about that. If you've never been to like a Latin concert, I definitely recommend you stick along and see some of this. Uh, you know, obviously we're not going to be recording the whole concert. You know, we can't do that. But, uh, you know, definitely going to be some highlights here. And, and I'm super excited to go. Um, you know, this is my my second one that I've gone to. I seen Mark Anthony, um, you know, about a year ago uh, at Santander as well. Uh, you know, great performance. But I'll tell you, being at a Latin concert is really unlike any other event that you've gone to. Um, I'm kind of more of a rock fan, but the energy and the vibe at these concerts are absolutely phenomenal. So, uh, you know, whether you like Juan Luis Guerra or, uh, you know, Latin music, I hope you stick along because this is a pretty, pretty unique experience. It's a really, really fun experience, different than any other concert I've ever been to. So let's get this popping. <laughs>
4, 40.
Muchas gracias. Buenas noches. That's going to wrap it up for this week's adventure. I hope you guys enjoyed it. You may want to turn on your notifications. We are going to be announcing our giveaway winner. Actually, I think I'm going to make a video where we're going to pull the name um, and then announce the, uh, announce the winner on the video that way. Yeah, anyway, I think that's going to wrap it up for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a nice big thumbs up. Stay safe, and we'll see you on our next adventure. Mm -hmm.